guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So last night, Taylor Swift revealed to us how she's going to be telling us the track list for Midnight's, which comes out October 21st, a month from today when I'm filming this. I am so excited, you guys. There has been so much excitement going around. So Midnight's Mayhem is Taylor's way of telling us she picks a ping pong ball, whatever track number is on the ping pong ball she'll tell us the title for so last night was the very first one so i was actually vlogging um because i knew she was going to be doing something on tiktok last night and then i also vlogged um like me watching her at the nashville songwriter awards so that's in a video i'll link it down below but i told you guys in that video that i'm going to start a series so when taylor does a midnight's mayhem i'll go ahead and just give you a brief rundown i'm going to react to me watching it and then I'm gonna tell you my predictions for the track these are merely just based on the title which I think is going to be so much fun once the album comes out to come back and reflect these won't be long videos but I want to go ahead and just talk to you guys about them so when the album does come out we can reflect on these I will put these in a playlist so they're easy accessible for you to find you don't have to dig in a vlog they're just gonna be simple got it okay so my outfit today is also giving very much lavender edition target edition of midnights by taylor swift but you know what that's a beautiful vinyl and lavender is my favorite color like i was not kidding in that video so here's your here's your proof right here so right now i'm gonna go ahead and play you the clip from my vlog where midnights mayhem started and we found out the first title track name which is track 13 of course she pulled out the 13 ping pong first. Like, why wouldn't she pull out that ping pong ball? I was so funny in the video. I was like, uh, maybe six? Like, just to guess? Uh, no, it was definitely 13. Like, very on brand for Taylor. Anyways, track 13 is called Mastermind. Here's a clip of me reacting. Oh my god. It's me. Hi. I know that I have a habit series I am calling Midnight's Mayhem with me. Track 13 is called Mastermind. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Okay, Mastermind. Okay, Slay. Mastermind. Okay, can we get the single now? I... Somebody said not the elevator music. <laughs> well, that's a creative way. That's a literal creative way. Okay, Taylor Swift. This is going to be a fun series. She, this is her series, but it's also becoming our series. So, track 13, Mastermind. When I first heard it, I was thinking, ooh, okay, maybe this is going to be um, a darker song. And maybe it's about maybe like the scooter situation and kind of a play on words. Like how he's a mastermind on what he does and like how he um, handled that whole situation. Um kind of like a little sarcastic nod to him. However, I woke up this morning and I changed my mind. This is track 13. It's at the very end of the album. If you don't include the bonus tracks on um, the Target edition, this is the last track on Midnight's. So, I'm thinking Taylor would probably want to end, maybe, maybe not, again, merely just a prediction, on a lighter note. So I completely changed my answer. I think the subject is about a love that inspires her with his creative drive because that's what a mastermind is. Fuels her excitement for life and she takes time to appreciate the little things in life that occur maybe late at night or maybe she's just pondering late at night. There's going to be some reference like really late at night I think about the times where you and I strolled through blank or when you and I did blank you know kind of just a reflective song and I'm thinking this song could be just like a pure reflection on life as she can't sleep she reflects on how much fuel this person in her life has given her how much strength and creativity and just the overall bond that she feels with this person and she wants to celebrate and reflect 
to close out the album. Again, could be totally wrong. Could be totally, totally wrong. So I'm thinking this is going to be an upbeat song. I'm totally expecting some ballads on Midnight's. However, I think this is going to be very upbeat. Strong, strong production with electric guitar and electronic piano. For this track, I just see a really strong, like, opening instrumental. I see a very strong, maybe it starts off maybe a little slower, like with her singing, and then it just kicks in. I don't know. I'm thinking, though, that the production is going to be very strong. I know that she is working with Jack Antonoff again. Yes. Yes. So I'm thinking that Jack Antonoff is definitely on this track. And yeah, you guys. So that's my little prediction. Totally just based on the title. And I think that that's so much fun. I will be doing a video for every single one of these. And I am looking so much forward to it because it's so much fun to guess especially when you don't know and you can reflect on it later. So yeah, you guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the love and you guys make me so happy. I love sharing this time with you. So stay tuned definitely because we have a lot of Taylor Swift content coming our way, but I hope this video entertained you and let me know what you think the song's about below. I'd love to read your opinion and I hope to see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.